what can I help you with today? Well, I really want to lose weight, but like I've tried everything and no matter what I do, even though I work really hard at it, no matter what I do, it's not working. Oh, right. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. So like what kind of foods are you eating at the moment? Well, like I'm eating uh, no bread, no pasta, no sweets, no cakes, um, no sugar, no fruit. What else now? Right, okay, so that's all the stuff you're not eating. What are you eating? Um, very little really, like I'd have steak, avocado, bacon, cream, um, what else now? But like, I've tried loads of diets before. I tried the blood group diet, that didn't work for me. I tried, um, paleo, that didn't work, I don't really like maple syrup. And like I've tried everything and no matter what I do, like I'm just not losing weight. Okay. Um right, so okay, we move we'll move on to exercise. What kind of what kind of exercise have you been doing? What's your movement routine? Uh do you go to the gym? Do you run? Do you walk? Do you anything do you do anything at all like that? This is me being another person. Um I do, yeah. I uh, I go to the gym four days a week and I lift really heavy at the gym. I do like uh, a really good class and we all kind of lift way there. Like I'd be using five kilo dumbbells overhead and we use a barbell and like I squat 20 kilos and we do like about a minute of those and then we move on to the next thing. And um, so like it's a really hard class. You're coming out of it absolutely bursting. You're pouring sweat and like it's really hard and I do that four days a week. Oh that's fantastic so it's a really good exercise class and you're lifting heavy weights and have you seen any change in your body shape or in in your muscle gain or anything like that or who's been measuring that for you? Oh geez I don't do it I don't do it um to gain muscle at all I don't want I don't want to be bigger Um, I like I do that now to burn calories because you come out and you'd be wrecked and then like You'd be so wrecked after it, you just spend the rest of the afternoon on the couch. So I'd be doing nothing the days I'm in the gym, really, because, like, I'd be saving myself for the gym, and then I'm just wrecked. And anyway, like, you know, I think it's enough to be doing the gym, really. I don't want to get injured or anything. Okay, so, uh, the, and you're saying that the, the class is about 45 minutes, so that's, like, an hour and a half, three, that's three hours out of your week, is in the gym. Um... So really, when you look at it in the context of the whole week, it's not a lot. Uh, so what would your calorie, what would your calorie intake be or your, your, your um, food intake? How many calories a day or how many calories a week do you think you're taking in? And how many steps every day would you be, uh, would you be building up? You know, what, what would your step count be? How much are you moving every day during the week? What do you mean? So you're saying you've been on so many diets and, um, You've tried everything, uh, so how many calories on average would you be taking in every day? And how what would your step count be? So your calories in and your, your energy out, or energy in, energy out. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get an idea of your energy balance. Like, I never really counted calories because I didn't want to be obsessed. <laughs> oh, right. You're never going to believe this. They were both me. Same person. I know, I know, I know. I should have been an actor. Uh, okay, so you can guess it. The content of today's I, 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 blah, IGTV is about energy balance. Listen, guys, I've, I've covered this so many times and it comes up again and again and again in questions. There are lots of people online preaching this message about energy balance and um, calories in versus calories out, uh, movement and exercise and how it all fits together in the grand scheme of things if you're trying to lose body fat. Uh, but unfortunately, it, they, this, these messages seems to be seem to be kind of superseded by the quick fixes. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. Yes, finally got to the point. And so look, in my own small way, I'm trying to get this this message out there, same as many others are, about um, the truth behind 
energy balance and and how how simple not how easy but how simple it is uh to to actually create that calorie deficit required to lose body fat don't think that i'm disregarding or trying to put down anybody's enormous efforts to um to drop that bit of body fat because i've been there it's not easy at all okay so your body on a daily basis has a particular amount of energy requirement okay so if you were to sit on the couch all day every day doing absolutely nothing your body needs a certain amount of energy to just feed your muscles feed your brain so you can think feed your um your entire system to keep sending the messages that tell you to breathe that tell your hormones to kick in to tell everything to happen okay and you need a certain amount of energy to make that happen on a daily basis this is your basal metabolic rate or your bmr let's say that number is 1500 okay so then somebody else might have um a day where consistently they wake up in the morning they get out of bed they walk downstairs they make their breakfast they walk to their car they drive to work the car park is huge they have to park in a certain place they walk into work uh they walk around a building all day uh let's call it working the health service running up and down stairs going throughout their day doing a b c d e and they've got a very busy day they accrue twelve thousand steps a day this is what we refer to as NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. It's pulling a chair out from a table. It is scratching your nose. It's putting your hair up in a bun because it keeps falling down in your face. Uh, all these little movements, walking to and from A, B and C, are your NEAT, okay? So they're unplanned. They're part of your daily routine. So now our energy requirements might be up at, let's just throw a number out there, 1800 calories a day, okay? Right, so that's just our day-to-day -day requirements, being busy, you come home at the weekends, you've got small kids, you're running around after them. So let's say, let's call it on average 1800 calories a day. All right. So now we've got your exercise output. Okay. So your, your exercise activity thermogenesis, which is uh, basically the exercise, any planned exercise that you're doing. So let's say you go to the gym for 45 minutes, four times a week. Okay. Now, let's say each of those gym sessions, and don't delude yourself into thinking that you're burning a thousand calories in 45 minutes, BTW, okay? That's short for, by the way, in case anyone's confused, I'm just trying to be cool. Uh, so, those calories that you're going to burn at the gym, they're going to be far less than you think they are, okay? I did a wad the other day, 15 minutes, absolutely burst me, and I mean burst me. I was nearly crying at the end of it, um, like 56 calories or something. It was a quarter of my whole gym session okay if i was working that hard for the entire session i would have been doing 178 calories like the maths was hard right there i don't know why um 178 calories for the whole gym session and i don't i don't go easy at the gym i burst myself when i get to the gym because i'm looking for maximal effect for the time i'm putting into my efforts so if you're going to the gym and you're coming out going sure that was lovely you can be you can be sure you're burning less than 100 and, or 200 calories okay so let's say three times a week okay getting back to it feet three times a week you're burning 200 calories divide that across the week that's less than 100 calories a day okay not going to try and do the maths on that really quickly let's call it 80 calories a day okay or 85 calories a day that's 1885 calories so people go to the gym and they get their massive dinner that they load up on, oh, it's fine, I've been to the gym. Well, listen, honey, like putting ketchup on your plate, you probably negated your gym session, okay? If you're going for that thought process of like for like, and I can eat what I want because I've been to the gym. This is only for the people who are really trying their hardest to lose body fat, okay? This is not for everyone. Insofar as, I just have to throw this in here. I don't want anyone going to the gym, enjoying the gym, and then coming home and saying, oh, I can't have a five count because my gym session was eat the food you want to eat, train when you want to train. Uh, I'm explaining this because people have asked this question. OK, so your energy utilization is up at eighteen hundred and eighty five calories a day. OK, what else is there? OK, well, you're burning energy when you consume different foods. OK, when you eat 10 grams of carbohydrates, 
It's like throwing a sheet of paper in a fire, it burns up like that, okay? Your body, if, you're, if it's needed, your body will utilize it very, very quickly because it's the most readily available form of fuel that your body can have. When you're at rest, you're sitting here doing nothing, your body is very likely just burning fats, burning triglycerides in your system and or in your bloodstream, and that's the way it turns over. But if you eat sugar, your body will go, oh, there's sugar, let's grab that, and it'll start burning that, okay? So when it comes to protein, your body has to work a little bit harder to get that protein, bring it down, break it down into its bare constituents, into the amino acids, and then fuse it to where it needs to go. It takes more energy for your body to do that. So you will burn marginally more energy eating a higher protein diet than you will eating a higher carbohydrate diet. Now I say marginally, guys. We're talking marginally. Don't think you're going to be burning 2,200 calories because you just ate for your dinner, okay? It's not how it works. And different bodies, the effect would be different for different people. So that's your energy output, okay, in different layers. So let's say now for argument's sake, you are you need 1,885 calories a day just to stay the same, okay? That is your maintenance intake, your basal metabolic rate, your eat, your neat, wrong order, neat, eat, which of the two, your eat and your neat, do you think contributed more to your overall energy burn? It wasn't the three days a week you were going to the gym. It was your movement every other day of the week. Okay, so just think about that. And when you see me on social media getting up every hour to go and walk in the field with the dogs or um, when I'm telling you to get up off your ass and do the stairs three times, it's to get your neat up. Okay, okay. You could, you could consider that doing the stairs or going for a walk is actually eat because you're planning it and you're going out and you're doing it. This has taken me 14 minutes. I'll have to do a bit of editing. Um, the short point is you've got to ma balance what goes in with what goes out. And if you're taking on board 2,000 calories a day, then 1, or 115 calories of that is excess. And that is going to, in the long term, result in an increase in your body mass plain and simple as that okay if you want to eat more and not put on weight then you've got to move more so that's it happy whatever day it is that you're watching this and uh go move